Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your I'm gonna tell you something that's going to change your life. Photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Storyblocks and their massive inventory of studio quality stock footage. If you've ever been in need of a quick video clip for B-roll, After Effects templates, or motion backgrounds, Storyblocks has you covered. We've been using Storyblocks extensively over the years, and since it's a new year, here's some New Year style B-roll for you to check out. All of those clips were from Storyblocks. So as you can see, Storyblocks is there for us with royalty-free clips, audio, and graphics, and they can be there for you as well. To sign up for Storyblocks, head on over to storyblocks.com slash fro. First up, OnePlus has pulled back the curtain on its new OnePlus 10 Pro phone. Hold the phone. Now, if you recall last year, OnePlus and Hasselblad announced a partnership to work together, because that's what partnerships are. You work together. Kind of why I don't like partnerships. Yeah, we know. Anyway, to work on a new phone camera system. System. In terms of cameras in the new phone, you've got a 48 megapixel main camera, 50 ultra wide, and an 8 telephoto. Now, not much has changed with the main and telephoto, but the ultra wide now allows you to switch between a 110 degree field of view and 150. Basically, it's like shooting with a 5 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, which is freaking wow. 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 There's also a new fisheye mode, which would have been perfect for the Beastie Boys back in the day or for average. Avril Lavigne, who's my girlfriend, by the way, because I'd like to be her fisheye skater boy. Get, get it? Fish, fisheye skater, because fisheyes and skate, skate, anyway. What a terrible joke! The new phone also includes Hasselblad's second gen pro mode that allows you to capture raw 12-bit images and a new mode called Raw Plus. Now, I'm not sure why they didn't call it Alexa Raw Plus Plus Beyond. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be f helpful. Anyway, this new RAW Plus format allows you to capture images with expanded dynamic range along with improved noise reduction via computational photography. I mean, look at this amazing photo of this woman holding different colored balloons on the beach. Wow, that's amazing. I'm picking up your sarcasm. Next up, the global chip shortage continues to reek havoc on the camera industry. This week, both Canon and Sigma made statements about products affected by lack of semiconductors. First, Canon Europe has issued a statement in regards to their genuine ink cartridges possibly not being recognized in their printers. And this is a quote, Canon is currently experiencing challenges in procuring specific electronic components that are used in our consumable products for our multi-function printers. These components perform such functions as detecting remaining toner levels. So does this mean that your printer will no longer work or will it report you to the police for using non-genuine Canon toner? I am now telling the computer exactly what he can do. Actually, it will report you only in Canada. Ah, uh, you, buddy. But how do you bypass Canon's DRM? Easy, you ignore the warning messages and just click OK. Solid security, Canon. Thanks for letting us know. And second, Sigma CEO on Twitter replied to a tweet in regards to a customer not being able to find specific lenses. He mentioned in 2022, supply shortages of semiconductors may affect production of some products. In my opinion, this might be the main reason why we won't see Sigma making lenses for RF or Z mounts anytime soon. Next up, the AP looks to be jumping on the NFT bandwagon. If you just believe in NFTs, then I believe in NFTs, and then they believe in NFTs. And yes, as it stands today, it's a bandwagon. You are not seeing your true potential. Anyway, the AP announced that they will be launching an NFT marketplace where collectors, and it's funny how they put those in quotes, collectors, as if they already know that they're a joke, can purchase selections from its modern and historic library of photojournalism. Now I'm curious if the actual photographers will benefit from these sales or not. The AP says each NFT will include the set of original metadata that it hopes will entice collectors who want to see the time, date, location, equipment, and technical settings used to create the photos. Really, you hope to entice marks, I, I mean, I mean collectors, with super important, valuable information like what time a picture was taken? Yes. 
Exactly. Now I've got to know this information. I got to buy some of this. Oh, Jared, you're just a hater. People said the same thing about the dawn of the internet and look at it now. It's going to be the same with NFTs. You just wait and see. It's the future. This digital cartoon with a camera for a head, it's going to be worth millions. The absolute minimum. Look, I get it. It's very early days for NFTs and people are still trying to figure out their value. But the more people talk about it, the more it sounds like a pyramid scheme in its current form. Fuck them with some NFTs. There's no doubt that there's a place for NFTs in photography. I just don't think we've seen that place just yet. Right here in the middle. And finally, Canon Rumors has shared a new patent filing from Canon for their Quad Pixel AF. Currently, Canon is using what I think is a second or third generation of their Dual Pixel AF. That's the AF that is found in most of Canon's mirrorless cameras. According to Canon Rumors, Quad Pixel AF would improve the autofocus performance when you're shooting in any orientation. How many orientations are there? She, her, he, him, they, them. It's actually not correct. Now, Canon Rumors doesn't think that we'll see Quad Pixel AF until the R1, which I don't think will be out until 2023 at this point. But I personally think we will see a camera with Quad Pixel AF in 2022. I still think Canon has one of the best AF systems for stills and possibly the best AF system when it comes to autofocus for video. There you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.